hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Nastasia this is a different kind of background than you guys normally see but this is also a different video than you normally see um, today I want to show you all the clothes I'm getting rid of <laughs> I don't know why um, I think you'll enjoy this video because you might not but I really have been enjoying decluttering videos it's like very satisfying for me and I quite literally got rid of 80% of my closet not exaggerating so I'm just literally gonna get to it and show you guys all the clothes that I am donating um, yeah so if you end up liking this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel never miss out on a video every time I post my Instagram is right here I'm very outspoken over there and that is the behind the scenes of my life so, without further ado, let's get into it. There's, um, a lot of clothes. It doesn't even look as big as it really is. It's, it's a lot of clothes. Um, okay. Not the most beautiful background this way, but it's better lighting. So I'm just gonna start at the top. Literally, oh, they all fell down. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. Um, I'm just gonna start at the top. So, sweater. It's really pretty, it's really cute, but I tried all this stuff on last night and I don't feel good when I wear it. I got this from Goodwill. I actually, I do like it, it's cute. It's kind of like an old lady sweater that I like with canaries and stuff, or not canary cardinals on them and stuff like that. But like, I maybe wore this one time during the entire winter. This is a leather, well, faux leather jacket that I got from Charlotte Russe when they were like about to go out of business and I got it for super cheap but I have literally never worn this once. I don't think I'm a leather jacket kind of gal. I just don't think I pull it off. This sweatshirt I wore a lot. I don't wear it anymore basically at all. It's a thin gray one that says happy. I'm going for a very much more like minimalist lifestyle from, oh I'm yawning. From now on, well, I'm trying to. I'm slowly transitioning into more of a minimalist lifestyle. Sweatshirt from my college. I do love this sweatshirt, um, but it's to the point where I wore it so much that the inside is scratchy and not soft anymore, so it's not comfortable. This cardigan is a white one, and it's very, very fuzzy, like that super fuzzy fabric. Um, but it sheds a lot. I barely wore it. And I'm not really into the whole like fuzzy look anymore. It's just like, I don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not me anymore. I don't see it as very adult, I guess. This my mom got for me for Christmas last year and I've never worn it. I didn't wear it all um, winter. It's again, that fuzzy kind of material. Um, it's like brand new. Um, it's beautiful, it's just not really my style. And I don't want to keep something just because I should. You know what I mean? The sweatshirt I got from Goodwill. Um, I like it, I guess, but it's like nothing special. And like, I really want to get, like I want to have clothes that, for lack of a better term, spark joy. <laughs> and like, I'm excited to wear them. Not like I avoid it at all costs until I have to wear it or something like that's not the point of clothes this I've had for a while I think it actually used to be my mom's and then I wore it it's like just like a denim-ish shirt but I never wear it anymore and it's very tight over my rib cage now so it's not comfortable this I got a few years back because I was trying to be something I'm not <laughs> Red does not look good on me. It does not. It never has and I've tried and it doesn't. This is different because it's like a rust kind of color and I love rust. But like just like the red, it doesn't look good. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> but like it's a button up shirt. I'm sure it'll be cute for somebody else. It's just, it's not me. My friend gave me this shirt because she didn't want any more. She's probably watching this video, so shout out to you, Morgan. Um, and I wore it a couple times, but it's not super flattering on my hips because it kind of stops at an awkward angle, but it's too thick to really tuck in. 
so I am passing this one along. This was so cute when I got it. It's still cute. It's still very, it's like a very pretty top. It was from Francesca's. Um, it's like embroidery up here or whatever. Um, and it's really pretty. It's like a peplumy top, but I really like high-waisted things. Um, it's very flattering on my figure personally, and I'm just more comfortable in it. And this just, you can't tuck it in because the peplum, it's not as attractive on me as it used to be. So somebody will love that. I got this last year at Nordstrom Rack and I just thought it was the coolest thing. And I don't know why. Um, it's like a yellow, well it was, did used to be super soft and now it's not. Like sweater kind of thing that says awake-ish on it. But it's just like, I'm trying to be, have more of a timeless wardrobe from now on and slowly move away from fast fashion so I don't have to contribute to that industry anymore because I don't believe it's ethical. So I'm trying to get away from that. Um, so yeah, I'm. it's just so funny to me going through these clothes when I thought even months ago it was just the coolest thing and now I don't even like it anymore. Like that just shows that buying all this stuff does not bring you happiness, especially not long term. This is a just normal striped shirt I got at Goodwill years ago. Um, it's fine and stuff, but I chose between this one and a different striped long sleeve top because I don't, I don't need to. <laughs> so I chose the other one, but it's really soft and it's nice. It's fine. I mean, it's not like amazing quality or anything. I think it's probably from Walmart or something. This top I got a couple years ago at Christmas or maybe last Christmas. I don't even know. Um, it's from, what was it from? Pink blush, I think. And um, it's a really pretty, like, green soft top that has buttons. But again, it has that peplum thing, and it's just not attractive on my hips anymore. Because um, I'm not a size 2 anymore, which is fine. Um, but I have to now dress myself in a different way than I used to, because my hips are large and in charge compared to the rest of my body. So things that just, like, hang over them kind of doesn't bring attention to my waist. This is another shirt that I used to be just obsessed with. <laughs> um, it's like a cropped waffle knit sweater sweatshirt thing with a hood. And I like the color. It's I like the color. It's like the mix between a rusty orange and a mustard kind of. But it's not like the fabric is that great. I got this at Goodwill years ago when I was in college. It's just like a guy's Henley top from, I think, Walmart. But it's just not anything special and I have other Henley tops now that I like way more. This is just a solid like kind of gray t-shirt I think from Target that I got years ago but I've worn this so much that like the armpits have turned pink. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay this one makes me sad. <laughs> I got this kimono from when I worked at Francesca's years ago. Like oh gosh three years ago. Um, and I just always wanted to be a kimono gal. Like, I thought it was so cool when people wore these kimonos. I've maybe worn this like one time. And I always, like through the years of decluttering now, I was always like, no, I'm keeping it because I'm gonna wear it this time. <laughs> and I never do. And honestly, these like statement kind of pieces for me aren't very realistic because if I wore that once a week, it would be very obvious that I wore it once a week. Whereas like these black jeans or something, if I wore them once a week, nobody would remember because they go with everything. Um, so yeah. Got this at Altered State, I think like a year and a half ago or something. It's a sweater. Um, it's very pretty. I've maybe only worn it once, but it doesn't, it's like very unflattering right on, like by my ribs. It's like a weird thing. So I'm not gonna keep things that I don't feel or look good in had this since high school, it's from Forever 21. I don't really know why I was so obsessed with it, but I was. It's not even soft. I haven't worn it in years, so. It was from Forever, or Forever 21, Goodwill. But it was originally, it's it's a J. Crew brand. Um, like sweatshirt, it's like a tan, yellow, and white striped, really lightweight sweatshirt. But I have a lot of sweatshirts, and I had to really decide which ones. I like the best. And this was not one of them. Also, if I'm flying through this, it's because I have a lot here. <laughs> like, this is a little crop top panty thing from Forever 21. I went through a style 
of pastels where everything was just like these bright colors constantly. And I do love pastels, but like, man, everything was very bright. Um, and it's not good quality since it's Forever 21. It barely even fits me anymore because I have gained weight since I got this. And um, it does have a good memory. This is the top I wore on my very first time meeting Kai, but like I can't just keep an item of clothing because of a time we had. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I got these. I got this and a couple others that you're about to see when like the lingerie style camis were super in last year. They're still kind of in. Um, and I do love that look. But I got some of these at like Nordstrom Rack and stuff, and they're really pretty. They have the lace and stuff, but the problem with this fabric is it doesn't stretch at all. <laughs> so like, oh man, it doesn't, it, it's so uncomfortable. Even if I try to put it on now, it'll like fit, but barely. And um, I mean, this is a socialite shirt, so that's kind of good quality, but I never wore it. So I think somebody else is gonna find this at the thrift store and be really happy. Another kind of cami shirt. This was from Francesca's, I think, or something, I think so. Um, like these kind of muted colored striped shirt. Um, I like it, I do, but it doesn't, it's not comfy anymore. Again, not really any stretch, so. This one is beautiful. This is from Forever 21. It's again one of those cami ones with like the eyelash lace. This was from Forever 21. I wore this quite a bit, but now it's just, I'm not really into it. Um, it's like a tan, kind of velvet texture tank top. I don't really love these razor back kind of tank tops anyway, because I don't want to wear a strapless bra ever if I don't have to. This is from Altered State. It's a really cute top, actually, with these tiny little embroidered flowers. Um, I used to be, I paid like $60 for this t-shirt, okay? I really was obsessed with it. And it's really soft and it's really cute, but it doesn't flatter me anymore. I'm not crazy about it. Again, it's like that peplum that you can't really tuck in. So I hope somebody else loves this as much as I did. Okay, this is the sad part. <sighs> a few weeks ago, I did a haul that I put on my channel, or a month or so, of stuff I got at Goodwill. Like thrift shopping, I guess. And ever since, I've maybe worn like two things or something. Um, well, that's not true. There's a few things that are now staples in my wardrobe, but there are quite a few things that I maybe wore once for like a photo and that's it. And some of the others I don't even like, I don't even like, like I wasted that money, what, like a month ago on stuff that I was going to get tired of so fast. So this is the Leonard Skinner shirt and it was really awesome for a photo shoot I did with Drew. Um, my friend Drew, she is a photographer, but, um, this isn't timeless or classy. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear this one day when I'm pregnant or whatever. Like it's just I haven't worn it once since then. This was a hand me down. It is really cute, uh, but I haven't reached for it once since I got it. And um, I even tried styling it last night when I was wearing like these jeans and stuff. And I just don't think I'd ever reach for it. I'm not a huge fan of denim shirts. I'm, I don't really love that kind of color on me shirt wise unless it's like a denim jacket here's more of the goodwill haul from the other week this top it's actually really adorable <laughs> it was a dress and i made it into a top and i i think it's super cute as a top um but for my style i don't have anywhere to wear this and i realized that very quickly because it's just a little bit too short where none of my high-waisted things go with it. Like, I mean, like, reach up to it. And I don't really like showing my belly, personally. Um, but I hope somebody else sees this and likes it as a top, because I think it's, I think it's cute. Another one from the other week. Um, this one. I do think it's really cute, I do. Um, but I haven't worn it even one time. And... I, even when I've gotten the chance to reach for it, I don't and I try to avoid it. This shirt was from Fabletics. I think it came with a pair of leggings that I got for some reason, like it just came with it. And it's like a really long white tank top with like kind of an awkward like slit in it. Where is it? The slit? Yeah, like right here. And it's like a... Honestly, it's, it's one of the most unflattering shirts I've ever worn in my life. I'm getting tired of explaining every piece, so now I'm just gonna probably show them. 
cute shirt. It used to look really cute. Now it doesn't really fit me as much. And I can't tie it up because the bottom. From Forever 21. This, the armpit things are so big that I can't even wear like a normal bra with it. So that's a no. Cute little yellow tank top. Um, it's cute, but it's very tight on me. And I'm not really into yellow, to be honest. Long sleeve crop top in a mauve color. I've maybe only worn this like twice. And it is not comfortable on me anymore. Fran gave this to me because she didn't want it anymore and it doesn't totally fit me comfortably even though it's so cute. So I hope somebody else really likes this. I have quite a few black long sleeve tops already. So I am getting rid of this one um, even though it's a really cute one from Forever 21. Um, it's just, I already have other ones that I like better that are more versatile. This is from Aeropostale. It's really, really cute, but again, it's not really that comfy and I haven't worn it since I got it like two years ago. This goes back to when I was going through a style crisis and bought everything in loud colors and it's like the brightest color of flowers and I'm just not like that anymore at all. Um, and I don't think this would last the test of time either. It's from Nordstrom Rack. It's really, really cute. Um, it's actually good quality too, but honestly, it's so not flattering on me. It makes me look so huge. It makes me look like a square. So I think this would look really good on somebody that's very, very petite and not very curvy. I found a light pink tank top that I like better now, that is better quality. So this one from Forever 21 that is also getting really tight on me is going to be passed along. And another one that I didn't even get very long ago, months maybe, from Plato's Closet. It's one of the uh, American Evil, like soft and sexy tops. Again, with the peplum, it's, it's really good quality, but that peplum does not look good on me because it accentuates like the wideness of my hips without showing the small of my waist. And I can't tie it because the peplum, so. This one is from Pink Blush. I think my sister-in-law liked this, so I might just give it to her. But it's like a long sleeve tunic um, with flowers. It's just, again, like, it is pretty, but I like more simplistic style now. Like, like this top with these jeans and some earrings. Like, that's just more my style now. I got this dress for my friend's Friendsgiving um, in November, and it's off the shoulder and it's cute. But I haven't worn it since, and to be honest, if I saw this in Target now, I would not buy it. So, that just shows you how fast trends go. Like... It's insane. <laughs> Another one of those like lingerie style tops that are really cute. I do love this one. This is the only red thing that I ever actually loved for me. It was, it's so cute. Um, but it's way too small on me now. It was already small when I bought it, uh, but I just tried to make it work and now I've definitely grown more since then. So I'm not gonna keep it and let me feel bad about myself that I can't fit into it. This is a pretty good quality um, turtleneck that I got from Goodwill when I was in college. Um, I think it's the DKNY brand. It's, it's solid. It's heavy. But it's too small now and it's the type of fabric that does not stretch. Um, but I, it's, it's literally in perfect condition even since I bought it. So I think somebody else will get great use out of this. This dress I'm sad about but I have another color or another dress in this color that I adore now. But it's like a button up linen dress and it's really cute but oh man I tried to put this on last night and yikes my ribs my rib cage cannot fit into this anymore another dress that like I not even a chance I looked like a stuffed sausage when I tried this on last night was this dress um a black I'm not buttoning it up all the way I don't have time a black button up corduroy dress from I think this was H&M I got it like Oh man, last fall I think. I limited myself to having one like comfortable like black dress and it was between that one and this one. But I decided to part ways with this one um, because it's less versatile than the other one. So, I've never worn this. I got a TJ Maxx last year. I thought it would look bomb on my curves and I think it might, but I still am not totally comfortable in it and it's like, this black and white striped material, I'm like, I don't even really like it anymore. And it's definitely not something I think I would like 
down the road either. For this dress in California when I visited last fall, and it was even a little tight then, <laughs> um, but it's like my nice little 90s style dress, but this trend is very quickly going out of style already. I'm glad I had my moment and my picture in it, but um, I've literally only worn it once. So I think somebody else will like it because it's, it's in perfect condition. I had a phase of really liking to look like a fairy princess. This was that phase. I got this dress from Amazon. It's a nice dress, it's fine, but I think it was just one of those purchases that like, I just wanted to buy something and that makes me sad. Um, but it's like a floor length dress. Um, it still fits okay, but like it's not the most flattering or the most versatile and I don't know. Another one of those outfits with memories. <laughs> um, this is the jumpsuit that I wore on like kind of like third date. The day that I pretty much figured out I was in love with him. And it's like a yellow color with a bunch of flowers and it's, it's nice, but it's not flattering on me anymore because I've grown a little bit. Um, so it's very tight around the top and it's very loud like this is a statement piece that I don't think I would wear often and I want a closet that I constantly wear often this dress is fine it's comfortable it's like a cranberry color but I don't feel pretty when I wear it so I'm not gonna keep it I really like this like sweater kimono thing from uh, Plato's Closet that I got last year. Um, but again, like, I just don't think these, like, big statement piece items are, like, good for me because I wouldn't wear this constantly. I'd wear it, like, maybe once a season so that I didn't get tired of it. And I just don't have room for that in my life. Again, I was so obsessed with these loud colors. I don't know why. <laughs> But I barely even wore this when I got it. And I tried it on last night and it's not flattering on me again. Can't really tuck it in. It's, I would not reach for this anymore. I tried this on and I wasn't crazy about myself in it. So I'm not feeling very good today. So I'm like dragging. So if I seem like I'm like on edge, I'm a little bit on edge. <laughs> Another one of the sweaters that my friend gave me that she didn't want anymore and I never wore it. So I think it'd be cool for a picture or something, but like long term in the minimalist closet I'm trying to create, I don't think it would work for me. This dress is really cute. I bought it and I never wore it. <laughs> and it's like, it's cute, but my chest is like so squished in this. It doesn't flatter me at all. Remember when I said I was trying to make red work? Yeah, I did that again. I thought I just needed to have something red for Christmas. I just had to. But um, I forgot that like you can literally wear whatever you want around Christmas. You don't have to wear red. Okay, I'm sad about these. I got these at Aeropostal. They were on sale, so at least that helps. I don't really know why I got them. I felt like, I think it was because I needed jean shorts. I hadn't found any yet. And these, I was like, eh, they don't look awful. So I just got them. But now I'm in a pair of jean shorts that I'm obsessed with and are so flattering on me. And these are not. They make me look like a circus tent. So I don't think I've ever worn them. Also, they're way too short in the back now too, For so they're not modest either. I got this sweater thinking I was going to be a cool like grandma in the winter kind of vibes. But uh, I don't think it's very practical for me. So these um, I got from Goodwill and they're men's jeans. Um, they're huge, but I wanted a pair of high-waisted black jeans and um, they're Wranglers too, so it'll be cool. I hope somebody likes these. Um, but I kind of distressed them a little bit and everything, but they're massive on me. And now I have these pair of high-waisted black plum jeans that I do love, so I don't, I don't need these anymore. I loved these pants, but the booty is too big now. It was already kind of a stretch, um, but these are Zara Basics, um, and I do love them. I got them from Plato's Closet. They're really good quality, like really good, so I'm glad somebody else will like them. 
and be able to fit their hips into them. <laughs> Again, with the red. Again, with the red! <laughs> it doesn't look good on me. I don't know why I was doing this to myself. Um, I think I've had friends wear this dress and borrow this dress from me more than I've ever actually worn it myself. Um, it is beautiful quality. It's loft. I got it years and years ago. And it's a beautiful dress, honestly. It really is. But, like, it's already, like, a size zero. <laughs> I don't really know. I think they size kind of, like, big anyway. But, like, not a chance. Not a chance that's going to fit me. <laughs> this, I think, was a thrifted piece or whatever. Like a denim dress, but not great quality. Um, just like a light kind of denim wash. And um, again, it's not flattering on my hips anymore because it's just straight down and does not flatter me. I have had this dress since sophomore year of high school from Forever 21. It's probably, it's really good quality actually that it's held up this long. This was like my go-to interview dress for a long time. I wore this to like every interview ever. But I think it's time to finally pass it along and um, somebody else can use it as their interview dress. The video is getting too long and I'm losing the light, so I'm just gonna show you guys the rest of them without me speaking. Okay, this was a different video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know, it's kind of one of those things that's like, it inspires me when I see other people decluttering to be like, yeah, I don't need as much as I have either, and I don't need to buy as much as I buy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep you guys along this journey of me trying to move towards more of a minimalist kind of lifestyle. The goal is to have under 40 items of clothing at some point right now. I probably have close to, probably probably close to like 100, but that's after all of this is gone. Plus there's a lot of t-shirts and stuff that I just declared too that I'm not going to show you because I feel like it's kind of boring. You got rid of night shirts, you know, like it's kind of boring, but um, I'm still going to keep you guys updated and um, I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.